So I had heard about the rumor that, hey, Destroy All Humans was going to be talked about at E3. And I was like, hey, man, I can record something and I can get an episode out right before E3 really starts rolling. We could see some fun thing about what the new Destroy All Humans thing is. Well, you know, today when I was ready to record, I saw on the news, look at that. They're just going to remake Destroy All Humans 1. So it kind of blew a hole through my plans, but whatever. We can still just play Destroy All Humans 1. I had it, I had bought it like cheap on the, uh, this was like a test thing I did. I bought it cheap enough on the uh, PlayStation 4, whatever it's called, the uh, weird emulation it does. And I'm sure the emulation is going to be perfect and there's going to be no weird issues whatsoever. But I figured I have it, I might as well play it. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky? I thought there was supposed to be subtitles. Possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there? Hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space. What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? I really expected him to say brothers from another mother. I don't know why it really would not have made any sense, but I expected it and wanted it. Bye. All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Oh my god, it's a UFO. Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait. Stop the countdown. I say this uh cutscene looks beautiful. He looks friendly. Shaken, Pox. You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this, but the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad. Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. A lot more preamble to this than I remember. him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Crypto's my spirit animal. He just wants to start blowing stuff up. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. Oh, <gasps> gasp. I know that place. Oh, and then we just shot right into a menu here. Perfect. Guess we're going to this farm. 
So, I remembered liking this game when I was a wee lad. At whatever age I was in the hit year 2005. Mm -hmm. I think that's when this came out. Some weird artifacting happening on that. I think a lot of this is just what we're going to get from this, uh... That's what the PlayStation 4 stuff is, right? Just emulation. So that's, that's how mistakes happen. I heard the Jack and Dexter trilogy emulation isn't very good. I haven't really heard anything about this one, so hopefully this is fine enough. The other, like, PlayStation 2 games I had played on the PlayStation 4 have been okay. I haven't noticed, like, too many issues, enough to really be bothersome. I should Crypto. have looked at options. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here, and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant. I'm pretty sure if I touch a button, the cutscene will end. So those lacking gonna have to sit through it. are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium. Covered in nipples. Okay, options. Audio. No. Display. There we go. How dare you. I guess I assumed that the options would have carried over from when I tested the game out real quick. Apparently not so. You may look and aim by physically manipulating the right analog stick. Wow. Tutorials on how to do things. Whatever. I, I know how to stick. do things. I'm going to talk to this cow. To the minds of lower life forms via the cortex move. Primitive, yet profound. Scanner. Pretty interesting cows. They eat with their mouths. Ugh, I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. Love how shiny this Crypto's eyes are. This is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. Mm. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? <coughs> Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. <coughs> oh, good humor. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. I don't understand. They know like everything about cows except for the fact that they can't talk. I think the dialogue audio needs to be lowered a smidge bit. They know about their nipples, they know they eat with their mouths. They know they have 20 stomachs. Keep holding, so I'll just keep pushing. Bam! L1 button, then hurl the bovines by double tapping. Bam, they know they're called bovines? Come on. Button. Drains my concentration. I probably should pay attention to the uh, tutorial a little bit more. But I think I have a general idea of how to do things. The concentration is the like top left thing. And when I don't know how to do something, it'll be my fault and it'll be egg on my face. <laughs> I saw him not. You walking. Tell me we's having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's holy mother Martha. Give me the shotgun. All gonna have a fire on her hand. Attention. You do in fact have weapons. They're on zap you. one button. Try good. A good zapping. Uh. All right. Okay. Give that puny farmer a taste of the old zapomatic. Then I need to take his brain juice. Delicious. Harold, come on back. You've got to see this. They got a talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like. I want to ah! see the talking horse. Ah! Little green spaceman. Ah! I am not green. She might be colorblind, Crypto. Don't be mean. 
Da -da, shields, yeah, at the top right. Evading combat for a short period of time. Crypto becomes vulnerable to death. Oh no. Hello, chicken. Can I... I will scan you. Bergurk? Bergurk this? Okay, now what? Oh, hello. Just keep shocking him. No, I want to look at the other... Ow, I want to look at the other man. I want to scan his face. Is there anything he can't do? That Huffman should step aside for Tricky Dick. Why would he be thinking about Nixon while he's getting blasted by an alien? Humans, they'd be crazy. Oh, the fuzz is here. She's pretty calm about this whole thing. Evening, Ms. Turnip. Yes, Steve. officer, the alien's we over got that a call way. From Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. What is that? A new silo? Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space time continuum! That'd be bad, oh, right? The furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto! I want to throw a chicken at him. Officer, sta stand there. Yeah! Oh, I think that chicken just killed her. Uh, him. Sorry. Crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry She's not dead? Officer. Wait, I want to kill her, though. She can't see that talking horse again. There you go. Let me, let me take your juice. Thank you. I think police officer brains actually give you more of the uh, DNA currency, but it looks like they already disappeared. Can I extract from... Nope. Can't extract from you. Guess we'll get in my UFO. If I can figure out how to get in my UFO. There we go. So, I was kind of hoping that the news for Destroy All Humans would have been a new one. But, I guess I'm not overly surprised that the news ended up just being, oh, we're gonna remake Destroy All Humans 1. Basically, just how everyone... Yeah, I figured it out already. It's basically how everyone... Like, game company, I guess, when I say everyone. I destroyed it already. It's basically how all the game companies seem to work when they try to bring back older franchises. I mean, you had Crash, you have Spyro. And I guess it, it would make sense, theoretically, that you would just do a remake, because that's the safest option. I think, like, with all of these franchises, move on, move, move, their last move. game didn't do so hot, which is why they hadn't had any new entries in a long time. Like, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't Destroy All Humans Path of the Furon, like, an incomplete game that was released on the 360 and I think it was supposed to be released on PlayStation 3 but they were like nah we ain't gonna make money off of this shut it down oh and it's also takes alright that's just the only way to repair the hull is to find a repair pod where oh destroy buildings uh so like Path of the Furon not so hot wasn't a good option Guess the franchise is dead, even though the first two games were great and Big Willy's Revenge might have been okay. I know I have it, I never played it. That was that was like a spin-off though. If it's on the Wii, it's a spin-off. But like so Destroy All Humans, yeah, basically a dead franchise. Should we try to make a new game? Or should we just remake the first one, see how the fans react, and then we can be considered or options. I think the same thing basically happened with Spyro and Crash. I don't know enough about Crash, but I know with Spyro, they had like kind of a redesign Spyro game I that I never heard you about. Bet your sweet ass I never I did. heard anything else besides did seeing see? some promotional art. And, flying saucer and then they the decided to repurpose Spyro for Army. selling toys, right, which good. worked out. Green? Not gray? 
Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The you worst case? Onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Uh, they, they come into this farmland, see all the destroyed military vehicle, vehicles, and are like, oh, Cattle's mutilated. Pandemic. Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. Here is the next Miss Rockwell. Find out. Continue. I couldn't see what the other word was. Uh, they, like, tried to do a new Spyro. It didn't work out. Repurposed Spyro for Skylanders. I think Crash had a bad game, and that was the end of that. You need to land a saucer to harvest DNA once on the ground. You can gather more DNA by extracting brain stems, complete side missions, and collecting furon probes. You'll be notified when you have collected enough. Great. Guess I should land and do side missions now. Uh, like, if... If they were to do anything with something like, say, Banjo-Kazooie, it is most likely, unless if it's just, hey, Banjo's in Smash, they will probably just remake Banjo-Kazooie. Because Nuts and Bolts didn't do good, no one liked Nuts and Bolts. Should we just try to make a new Banjo game like Banjo-Kazooie? Nah, man, just make the same one. Got an anal probe now, we can anal probe people. Gotta switch to that. It'll make the uh, juices I get much better. Before I do that side mission, though, we got collectibles. So, like, I'm a bit disappointed about the, uh, I gotta collect brain stems. About what the news ended up being. But, like I said, not too surprising. So, I gotta charge up the anal probe and then blast them. And they love it. Look, he's enjoying his time. That woman doesn't seem to care. It's fine. I know I'm on a time limit, but I gotta get this collectible. So, going back to actually talking about this game, I, I thought, like, hey, it would be fun to play it. I have it already. It might be a bit redundant since a new one's coming out so shortly. And by shortly, I guess I mean... What was it? 2020? So in a year. So, you know, enough time will pass that it's not going to be a big deal. Oh, I missed. Don't run away from me. I need your brain. There we go. Well done. Just stop everything. Save the game. Wow, I can already return to the mothership. Oh, let's do some... Ow. Let's do some side quests first. That wasn't enough. I thought I charged enough. Got straight. There we go. Give me their juice. So I think, like, actual enemies give you more juice for their brains. God damn it. So I think cops probably would give more citizens give the 10 these. I would say Hicks, but that would be rude. These farmers give you that 25. I don't know how much cops would... It like auto aim to that chicken. I don't know why. Can I swim? I cannot. This is how my story ends. Looking at a pool of water. Fish boy pulled from the lake. Fish boy fry up halted by arrival of government officials. Local Irish lad wins newspaper apprenticeship. Well done, young McDermott. I appreciate the uh the death thing. Oh wait, new mission available. I. Didn't mean now that. Then, I apologize. I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. I was actually was thinking, why can't I swim? We realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, Tragic. a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam, one thing led to another. Long story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. 
Over the eons, we've learned to clone ourselves. But with each iteration, the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the furon race. If only we can get at them. Okay. <laughs> That's a... That was a lot of information. Yes, let's uh... I mean, I'm gonna head back so we can do side quests. Can I skip this part? Can I... Can I... Oh, I can skip a little bit. Got side quests I missed out on because I jumped in the water. Uh, okay, which one did I do already? I did the... Land. Land, I said. I did the one that was in the farm. I don't think there's a clear way to... Tell which side quest you did. But I do want to collect all these juicy bits. Let me just, uh, let me go over here. See what's going on. Oh, there's a collectible. Gotta eat it up. Oh my goodness. Oh, I missed again. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of farmers here. I keep wanting to call them cowboys. It's because of the hat, it confuses me. That missed? That missed? There we go. I don't agree with any of those misses. I also don't even know where the goo went. There was like, probably one more goo somewhere. It's fine, whatever. We'll do the side quests. What is this? What do you want from me? Armageddon! I've had enough of this accursed town. Destroy all buildings. Leave no trace. Alright, gotta get in my ship. Gotta blast it all down. Uh, I remember too with this game. I don't think I ever beat it legitimately. I'm pretty sure I ended up using cheat codes to get through it. Because I was a wee lad and I wasn't good at video games like I am now. Now look at me. I can beat all kinds of difficult games. Like, uh... And don't forget... But most important... Just gotta blast them all down. I need to also remember to look at that map at the bottom. For some reason, the map at the bottom right of the screen is really... I, I keep forgetting that it's there. Maybe I'm just used to looking at the map for uh, Nino Kuni. Where am I going? This way? Oh, there's like a whole highway section. Oh, uh, well, God. Who's shooting the rockets at me? Was it the police? I don't know, it looks like the military might be after me already. I, I'm gonna say that just the top stuff is like your wanted level. Oh, my uh, health is actually real low because I took those rockets. I mean, maybe... Oh god, rockets! I don't like the rockets. Oh Jesus Christ. So many things shooting me. I feel like... I don't like the health... How the health works with the ship. That's what I feel like. I need the military to go away. What do you mean return to the invasion site? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Stop telling me to return to places I've already been. As long as I don't die once I... I need like two more. I'm running out of time. Oh, they're right next to each other. That's good, at least. I got a little panicked by returning to the invasion site. By the rockets blowing me up. Hey, we did it. Terrific. Now maybe I need to... find somewhere to sleep again. So that my ship doesn't explode. Hard game. This is why I needed cheat codes. Actually, give me a minute. If I look... If I look at the uh, PlayStation 2 case that I have here, cheat codes might still be in. Oh, there they are. 
uh, when a cutscene happens, I'll read them off. We can see what my uh, handwriting is like. Scan that cow. Oh, I'll push you. I won't push you too, mister. Where is everyone? No, I don't want... Can I not pick up the uh, tractor? Uh, well, maybe I'll just shock you. That seems to do the trick. He loves it. He did a cool flip. Throw a bunch of cows. Because they upset me. That cow gets to live.